There's some new artists I like. Yeah, but... It just kind of always bugged me. So... Anyway... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Batman soundtrack. <laughs> yeah, I remember when they did that. I, I still just, I still just, they have the Batman and Robin soundtrack. I remember when they played it, like the, um, the uh, VHS tapes back in the day. They did the whole soundtrack like they'd play like the intro they play like they play like uh trailers and stuff then they play like the soundtrack ad <laughs> which was always amazing let's I actually found it like someone I actually found it someone actually uploaded it on YouTube now this back in the day it was like so awesome. Not as awesome as the Batman Pop Tarts. Which I always got them. I always ended up getting the Mr. Freeze one because that's the ones I could find. <laughs> but I never. Like, I bought the Batman cereal when they released it on Dawn of Justice. I ate a bowl of it. Dry cereal. I couldn't drink milk, so mind you, I am. I do drink milk. I have to drink the lactose-free chocolate milk because I like chocolate milk more than, you know. But anyway. Um, gonna open my can of sweet peach tea. Because, you know, peaches are good. They're delicious. Mmm, that is really good. It's organic. You know. Oh, that's really good. Really good. Anyway, this soundtrack, I remember it. Like, I remember watching it. I was like, man, this is really cool. I gotta get that soundtrack. And I, I did have the soundtrack. <laughs> anyway, here it is. Music from Batman and Robin, the motion picture. Bone thugs and harmony. I remember that. I remember seeing that. And it was. I remember seeing it. Like, it's pretty bad that the, the soundtrack was better than the movie. And I'll tell you, it was really. It was a really good soundtrack. I know a lot of people like say, like, oh, it's so outdated and lame. It's like, you listen to it now, it's like, this is good music. Yeah. 
Oh, that peach tea is really good. Anyway. Um, yeah, I still, I still to this day have it, the soundtrack, on the CD and stuff. And I'll be like, what is a CD? Well, kids, a CD is a thing that plays music. You put it in the CD player, and you just listen to music. Anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, it was a really good soundtrack, and... I actually have it on... I actually bought it on my iPhone and iPad. I actually do have one of the songs on there. I have a Smashing Pumpkins one. Or the R.E.M. Revolution. Yep, right here. So, I'll play it in the background as we can listen. Your revolution is a silly idea. All your friends are feeling sad. It's like you need a reason to be feeling bad, yeah. Sorry, I really like this song. <laughs> anyway, I really like that song. But the Batman Forever one, oh, I love that one. And I know the uh, song they play in the soundtrack ad. I know my producer really likes it. Whoops, gotta unmute it. There we go. Yeah, I remember. I really like the song. Kiss from a Rose by Seal. <laughs> My favorite song. I, I knew it's your favorite song. <laughs> yeah, there's... That's one thing I sort of miss about comic book movies. It is the soundtrack, even though someone's like, you know, Suicide Squad did a soundtrack. No. No, 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 no. No. <laughs> it's I wish they would do like soundtracks for the movies and stuff like Batman and stuff like gather up artists that a lot of people love actual artists not name only artists like, I, I know a lot of people are like, well, you know, you 2 did Batman Forever. Yeah, but they did a good song. <laughs> they actually did a good, good song. They didn't do whatever, you know, songs are popular. Like, I mean, I, I would give pass to, um, what's her name, uh, Billie Eilish. I would give her a pass. Be like, eh, you know, let her do a song. But... If you get, like, Taylor Swift, fuck that. No. No, no, no. So, if they ever do a Batman soundtrack, I'd be like, you yeah, know, Billy Eyelash is on it, and, eh, I'll give it a pass. It's not, I can't say anything mean. She's actually talented. That's what counts. Even though she doesn't sing, like, a high note, she sings, like, a very low no note, she's, like, almost afraid she'll set off a fire alarm if she sings high note. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> That's my only joke I'll make about Billie Eilish, so. But when I found out her name is Pirate, I was like, she's fucking awesome. 
If your middle name is Pirate, you are cool in my book. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even know that. I actually found that out on Wikipedia. That her middle name is Pirate. I was like, you're cool. <laughs> is that how her name's pronounced? Eyelash? Or... So, oh. <laughs> oh, hold on. I got a question right here from a listener. Have you ever listened to R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet songs from chapter 1 to 33? Yeah, I did. I I did. Chapter 9, I laughed my ass off listening to it. Especially, like, I have to play, to the listeners, the entirety of 1 minute and 48 seconds of Chapter 9 of R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet. Because it is fucking hilarious. And I know a lot of people are kind of like, you know, when it comes to R. Kelly, yeah, I don't know. Trust me, you have to hear it. Block out everything you heard about R. Kelly. Did, it, did he piss on that chick? I, I think he did. I mean, I don't know if he did, but, you know, I... It's kind of like OJ. I believe OJ did it. <laughs> so, here is the entirety of 1 minute 48 seconds of Chapter 9, R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet. He looks around the kitchen and says something is really weird. Then she says, why do you say that? He says, because you keep trying to get me out of here. He said, ever since I've been in this house, your faces went from white to red. And remember when I first walked through the door, you act like you had seen a ghost from the dead. Then he says, girl, if you're hiding something, I'm going to be so mad. Then he hears something falling He says, what the fuck was that? She said, it sounds like it came from upstairs Sounds like the plumbing He said, woman, that sound did not come from upstairs I'll be damned if you're not up to something Said, now the sound that I just heard It came from this kitchen And then he looks over by the stove While she's easing over by the dishes And then he walks over to the refrigerator And pushes it back And then he looks over in her face Looks like she's about to have a heart attack Then he notices the pie on the counter One slice is missing Now the story's getting scary Cause he comes to realize that Bridget is allergic to cherries Then he slowly looks up at her And now her face is red as hell He's breathing real hard Moving closer She says, huh, you don't look so well And then he says, move She says, no He says, move She says, no Bitch, move She moves And then he looks at the cabinet, he walks to the cabinet, get close to the cabinet, now he's opening the cabinet, now pause the movie cause what I'm about to say to y'all is so damn twisted, not only is there a man in his cabinet, but the man is a midget, midget. That is so fucking brilliant. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> it's a midget. Yeah, you know, I I always want to tell us, you know, ever since I heard that, I kind of want to do like an entire sentence that way, like R. Kelly how he describes everything. <laughs> And I looked at my phone, <laughs> and I got a text message. My heart sinks. I don't know what it's gonna say. <laughs> it's just, 